Hello everyone. Welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. I hope you enjoy practice meditation regularly. And again, we meeting on this Sunday every week as a community for everyone who can come, who come together to enjoy practice meditation from around the world. This regard of where do you live, but at the same time, same place, we always here for meditating. So. Hope you enjoy your practice and come to meditate with us again. Now, well, before we part today, <coughs> please do not leave just yet after our meditation because there is some uh, announcement and the tip that I like to share with you all. And of course, today I do not have presentation, but I have some story that may be quite motivating you. And the topic for today is how to meditate or how to me motivate yourself to meditate every day. Because this sometimes we know it's good, but we don't want it to. So maybe we can find out from this tip today. Now, as for our meditation today, it's going to be quite something special. Because let me tell you ahead of time. Because previously, many times that I had been tried, copyright always, you know, big issue in Facebook. So sometimes when we broadcasting our meditation video, they're just gonna cut. Or abrupt or you know disconnect our broadcast right away thus causing everyone unable to continue and meditate but for those who keep coming back they will be able to see at the end so therefore the only thing that you can see the whole session is on YouTube which is going to be later on posting on our YouTube channel so that's today just try to experiment to prevent this from happening or in our broadcast abruptly this time going to be guide meditation with the picture but silent just want to see how is the different whether they are going to disconnect or not so therefore if you disconnect just let you know go back and uh, come back again just that it's got disconnect or if you don't want to get disrupt here on our zoom channel it always be on do not do not get disconnect or anything so if you like to be in personal I would suggest go on zoom but if you like it to be like a easy going easy access to watch Facebook is also fine, but just that you know that there is no music today, all right? But if it's on Zoom on any other regular day, normally we have music, all right? So that's just let you know on that. You can listen to my guiding meditation and you turn on your music, that is also fine. Now let's get back to what is the topic or the tip I like to share with you all. Some of you may have learned from the previous session, but I think learning is of a reviewing again too, all right? So let's do our topic for today. Now, some may wonder, <coughs> the thing, the story goes on this here is that previously, last week, I came to guide meditation on a veteran group in, um, in Atlanta, Georgia, I doing, helping them gathering every Wednesday, every other Wednesday. What happened was that <coughs> after the story that I share with them, they found quite interesting and they just wondering, how can they motivate themselves to keep meditate every day? They know it's good, just like any of us. It's a good meditation. It's good for the mind. It's good for inner peace. But you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, I'm very tired. Oh, I just want to watch a movie. Oh, I just want to rest. I want to take a shower first. That's your motivation. Your good intention to do meditation is slowly faded away, right, everyone? This is the same thing with everyone too. Me too, myself. But how can we, you know, get this, keep on going? Well, my answer to them is, first of all, you must have one commitment. Yes, one commitment. Thank you, Miss Jelly, Jenny Roy, all right, Mr. But either way, <coughs> thank you for joining us. And today we are getting to the good past you come at the right time. Thank you and hello from Canada, all right. Mm. Here. The thing is, you have to have motivation or commitment to start off with. But to have that kind of thing, maybe it's good things to say that you may want to have some good experience with meditation first. If you don't, it may be quite different, different, very difficult. As for me myself, I was, utterly speaking, I don't really like meditating before I become a Buddhist monk, you know. And what happened that motivated me was when I become a Buddhist monk, it's the required task that you have to do it 
it's the job for the monk to train the mind. Otherwise, what are you doing here? So, I motivate myself by meditate, but do it alone? Nah, may not be very well. So what I have to do is I must get myself away from my room, from where I sleep, because when I at my room, it has the bed, it has a table, a table to sit for meditating, and a bed. So when you sit on this, which one you gonna choose? Meditation or sleep? Meditation or sleep? So in the end, sleep is more likely. Same thing for me. So that's I must go outside or go somewhere that's away from where it's gonna keep distracting me. So I go to the meditation room instead to help me meditate. And that's I keep my routine. But of course, I force myself. When I force myself, not a good choice. But after that, everyone, when you do it routinely, you begin to notice the change that when you do it, whether it's, you know, doesn't have a good intention, but forcing yourself, but slowly, bit by bit, as become routine, when you have not done the same thing, you feel like hmm, missing something, right? So that is the thing. So when I have that kind of experience, Yes, I begin to reflect on myself. How come I meditate for seven or eight years? No progressing. When I check myself further and further, I realize that, oh, I have done it wrong. I force myself to meditate. I make myself to do it, not voluntarily to do it. So in this time, when I meditate, I just close my eyes, just relax, don't think of anything, just at least I do my duty. I sit and relax. When I become relaxed with no expectation, the mind becomes at ease by itself. When you don't have any expectation of forcing yourself to do meditation, you begin to be more settled down. Then I begin to experience relaxation, and thus I realize, oh, this is what is meant. Just sit back and relax. If you need to force yourself, let it be before you start to you close your eyes. When you close your eyes, just let ev everything that matters in your mind, leave it outside and enjoy yourself the rest. And let the mind do its all wandering thing. So when it's fine in the peace, I realize I have wasted seven or eight years of my time doing meditation in the wrong way. When I have done that, now, I make a commitment now that at least I meditate once a day. But as for you, you don't have to do it to force yourself how long you want. But you just close your eyes and start. Five, ten minutes, one minute, doesn't matter. If you close your eyes, you start doing it. Eventually, it will become your routine. If you see the importance of meditation is good for you, at the very least, you should at least do something that good for your mind as well. Why? Imagine every day we have to take shower when you go out, you know, you you know, exposed to the sun, the heat, or you know, the virus and everything. You come back, you have to hurry home and take showers so you can clean your body of all the kind of germs and thing. Right everyone? So when you have something like that, that is for the body. It's not for the mind. Imagine when you are sleeping. You have a good rest, good long rest, but sometime when you wake up, you don't feel refreshed. You feel very more tired. Why? The answer is simply, your body has a good chance to rest, but not your mind. When it's not your mind, of course, it's commonly when you wake up, you won't feel refreshed. So in order to do so, you should find a time that can allow your mind to have a good rest as well. And so that is how the answer to motivate is Make commitment at least one, once a day, doesn't matter how long, once a day you start, whenever you like, however you want, sit on a chair, sit on a bed, but do not lie down on the bed, I don't recommend that. If you really can get up and you are very sick, you are very tired, that could be another option. But if you are healthy and you can walk, at the very least, get up, lie uh, sitting down on the, your chair or your, your cushion and do meditation. That would be a good choice and help you to be motivated to practice meditation. Now, how long would we meditate? According to my master, okay, good meditation for 
everyone two hours a day of course it's quite a lot for some but if you do it routine it may be not but I won't ask you to start right away at two hours I couldn't do that neither what I would do and suggest is start however you like first but keep yourself motivated keep yourself motivated more and more do it once a day do it once a day repeatedly at the same time but it will be better if you can do at the same time that would be just like in our inner peace sunday and inner peace daily program provide on our facebook same time same place on facebook or youtube or on zoom if you like to more experience more private in zoom would be more better but if you like just easy access facebook or zoom also recommend therefore facebook only on sunday the rest is on youtube okay now that's the story i like to share with you but two hours if you can but if you can that's all right start off working yourself increasing bit by bit okay but the key to that is work your way and when you find yourself experience how do you know if you do it right you just feel good if you feel good that's a good meditation already everyone so we have one people coming in today quite new so therefore allow me to introduce how we meditate before we start everyone so if you are already ready for meditation go ahead leave on the comment for those of you who are ready so check yourself three times for the time three things for the time, for the time being one check and see if the environment where you are going to meditate is peaceful and quiet you don't want anything to disturb in your meditation right second check if you need to use toilet yeah if you need to use toilet go ahead you don't want to have a, anything interrupt for your inner peace time and last but not least if you need to call someone do it now or put all your phone and mobile phone in disconnect so that way it won't be disturbed in your inner peace experience now give me two minutes for the time being for introducing how we meditate what we practice in our Inner Peace Sunday is called the Middle Way Meditation. What I'm about to introduce to you, they are just only introduction. Okay? Oops, excuse me. There are some neighbor in next to my room too. Okay? <laughs> All right. What we are focusing on are two things, and it is the foundation for the Middle Way Meditation. They are relaxation and mindfulness. These must go together from the beginning until the end. And when you check yourself, you maintain the balance, you will feel like your body disappear or feel just right. You want to stay here as long as you like. That's the feeling that you gain the balance in your mind and a relaxation. But if you lose the balance between these two, what would happen? Well. The, here are the simple <coughs> the symptom one you will feel uncomfortable if you're having too much mindfulness or a lot of uh, I would call trying a hard uh, putting a lot of effort in meditation or if you are relaxing too much you could fall asleep or having wandering thought because the mind is kind of like a ship without an anchor on the ocean it could sail away without any destination so you need an anchor to keep the ship to ship floating in the ocean to be still so that's everyone this is how you maintain the balance always maintain them once you gain the balance you find you feel just right well another trick that I can help you to help you focus your mind inside your body when you are meditating is first visualize an object something simple something that doesn't make you think or create emotion something simple like the sun a moon a star or the crystal ball choose one that you like under the two conditions it must not create thought or emotion okay so these are what we use to help you maintain your focus inside your body this method is good if you keep wandering off but if you have a lot of thoughts like what am I gonna do what I'm gonna have for this lunch today 
Well, you can use this method as an alternative. It is called mantra. It's more like a repeating words in the middle way meditation. The mantra I used and I learned from my master in our temple is pronounced like this. Sama Arahang Like that. Sama Arahang Like that, everyone. Repeat this over and over until there are no more thoughts or you feel like you don't need to use the mantra anymore. And that is how we do. But in case you want to use your own mantra, can you? Yes. Recommendation would be two words maximum. But if you can, you can use longer, however you feel just right for you, everyone. So it seems like everyone is typing ready. Then I think maybe we should start our meditation now. But just want to let you know ahead of time that, well, you know, today is quite new. That's, I'm going to change some pictures, but there is no music. If you like to, you can choose your own music to play with. So you meditate when I guide meditation along with this video together while broadcasting. So hopefully we have good inner peace time. So stay tuned after the meditation for more meditation tip and for announcement after. Alright everyone, stay tuned after. So see you then in a few minutes. Let's begin our meditation. Now, it is inner peace time. Let's begin our meditation. Close your eyes. Relax the mind and body. Adjusting yourself, sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position. Where you won't feel any tension on your body. Relax truly. Beginning from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't use your eyes during the meditation. And relax all the muscles in your face down to your neck and shoulder adjusting your back and body properly free from all the tension you might have. Relax both of your arms down to the tips of your hands. Continue to relax down to
to your abdomen. Allowing yourself breathe in and breathe out easily. Continue further down to your legs, your knees, all the way to your feet completely. Making your whole body feeling most comfortable for the meditation. Spend a few moment adjust your body when you are done let's move on to adjust your mind empty your mind putting down everything aside and imagine that you are alone in this place somewhere in the nature somewhere with an open space which make you calm and peaceful as if you are the only one in this world. Then allow your mind, your awareness coming back to yourself. like a feather floating down slowly moving down and softly touch the surface of water allow your mind coming back to your body like the feather and rest the mind inside yourself around your abdomen or any point that you feel just right then begin to observe the mind from this moment then take a deep breath slowly breathing it out feel your mind is present inside your body Observe the mind, observe your relaxation, enjoy the silence and your relaxation from this moment on. Maintain your mind inside yourself by lightly Imagine, imagine the sun shine at the place where you rest your mind and observe the sun peacefully 
making yourself become an observer. Observe the sun while stay relaxed both body and mind. Should your thought arise, don't worry. Let it be, let it go without following your thoughts. If you like, you could recite the mantra to calm your mind. Helping yourself finding inner peace and the mantra is Sama Abraham Sama Abraham Sama Abraham Continue the mantra until your mind has climbed down. All the mantra fade away by itself. So let us all together enjoy the silent finding ourselves in the peace until the appropriate time.
mind to find peace inside yourself. When the mind comes to a standstill, joy and peace would arise inside yourself. Fill in your mind with this feeling and expand to your body feeling as if you are floating light or empty deeply your awareness in this moment and enjoy to be right here in the present when the mind finding inner peace it would find its own way to love openly freely without any condition So sharing your good feeling, sharing your inner peace with everyone that you love, beginning with yourself, family and friends, to all the people that you love. Expand your inner peace in all directions like a ripple. Expand from yourself to your room, your home, your neighbor and the neighborhood. Expanding further to your hometown or the place where do you live. Going further to your state and the country. Eventually, the whole world. Spread your loving kindness with them all, a feeling reaching everyone to be happy. Spending few moments sharing your loving kindness
take a deep breath, slowly breathing it out, maintain your balance of mindfulness and relaxation. and allow your mind to stay and rest inside your body as long as you can to allow yourself your inner peace to be with you at all times Continue on as long as you like, then slowly, gently open your eyes and prepare to receive the blessing. Sapaputta Nupavena, Sapatama Nupavena. Sapasangha Nupavena Satta Soti Pahvantute Welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoy your inner peace time together with me. So allow me to check your meditation experience. For those who are feeling relaxed, you may leave the comment as one. Or if you are already regular, go ahead and leave the comment. For those who experience time fly by very fast, feeling like your body disappear, leave the comment as two. For those who experience inner light or brightness inside, leave the comment as three. For those who are watching from Zoom, you can go ahead and leave on the comment. Thank you, Mr. J and Miss Ashley, two and one for Mr. J, Kathleen, one. What about from Facebook? Hello, Miss Chairman Nick Lab. Good to see you. And welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. All right, Miss Helen, two. Okay. Uh, Mr. Carlos, Chatman, two. Hmm. Very good. Anyone else sharing? Oh, keep coming. Okay. Well, for the time being, allow me to, uh, you know, sharing our meditation tip. <coughs> for those of you who have questions, you may leave it on the comment as well. <coughs> now, for the meditation, everyone, one thing that's going to keep and helping you preventing from continuing your meditation is the feeling of struggle or the feeling of boredom. These are commonly happen when you have forcing yourself or expecting too much the result from meditation therefore it kind of like you hitting the wall and you won't feel like you progress in the end you giving up this is common for many new meditator or sometimes even for experienced meditator if they are not careful so when you are practice meditation no one thing behave ahead of time is that it will be repeating but one is in repeating what gonna have uh, your experience keep yourself continue is the result of you did doing it correctly like for feeling like relaxation feeling enjoy that you are doing it because when you do it you're gonna feel like one thing oh it's so good oh it's so relaxed if you have this feeling at the end or feeling like you're appreciating it that is the thing that you keep should keep, that is the thing that keep you continuing okay however when you are meditate remember do not try to force yourself to meditate it is not the good thing to do it i have done that for many years in the end i almost give up and don't like to meditate 
So keep that in mind. When it's repetitive, at the very least, check. Always check that. Why I don't feel good? If you do, you will find that, oh, you may have done correct, wrong or incorrect. So everyone, keep check yourself as well. And this is how you keep yourself progress in meditation. Now, as for the meditation, everyone in here have done sharing. Is there anything more? Ah, Miss Irene, good. Thank you for sharing us. Anyone else are watching? Whoa, well, <coughs> not many people in interact today, but that's all right. The thing on that is when you are checking yourself every time you meditate, remember at the end of meditation, always re-evaluate how, how, how did you progress? That's it. If you check yourself, you will see that you are able to recollect. When you are able to recollect, you will be one thing. If you come to the point, you meditate regularly, you will come to the point. In our temple, we call this as knowing how to settle or rest the mind. So if you do it correctly, every day, every time, when you close your eye, you will find the point of your contentment. And there you focus your mind. And there you go, boom. You will go right away. That is how it is. Therefore, if you cannot there yet, you still have to starting over quite some time. So if you got that part to that point that I just mentioned, knowing how to settle your mind, only then you will be able to progress greatly in this state. So hopefully everyone can find that point. So starting now from the moment, close your eyes. If you feel the point of your contentment, stay in there and focus. That is how you start meditate. If you get to this part, your progress will be greatly. But the difficult part will come is how you can maintain it like that. So you're gonna have to practice regularly. And you'll see there are many challenging stepping up yourself to progress in meditation regularly. But one thing that my master always warned everyone that the most difficult part for meditation is when you find the first stop or the first still your mind. If you can find that point, this is the most difficult task for a meditator. If you can find that point, after that it will be super, super, super easy because you will never miss that part because it will be experienced the moment that you will remember forever. And next time you come meditate, you will greatly stepping forward. So we spending a lot of time talking on this because it is so difficult to find that first stop moment. So everyone keep on trying, okay? If you do, let me know too, so I can learn some trick from you guys, all right? So that's the tip for today, everyone. Before we part here, I have some uh, announcement I like to make for the end of our program. As for our <coughs> event that's coming up on next month, oops, I'm sorry, <coughs> it could be next month, I haven't done, made a video yet, but for the next full moon of peace that will be happening in our Zoom, it will be on September 20, okay, on the, on the picture, it's not updated yet, I have not, uh, my assistant have not made the photo yet, but uh, I will go squeezing her neck, do it down, okay, so something like that, okay, so Next full moon of peace, September 20. If you can make your time schedule, come join us on Zoom. If you can, don't worry. You can still meditate under the same full moon, even though it's on different place, but we have in the same sky. All right. Next announcement would be for those who are looking forward. Yes, we have quite new people joining us today. So maybe if you're interested to learn with me in our next program course, which starting next week, it will be my own level one available only on zoom so hopefully you come join us application still accepting now i will be repost or resharing it again this week for anyone who interests to come and meditate regularly the aim for this card is to help you practice regularly so if you can come and make your time schedule well come join us the schedule start every saturday 8 30 to 9 30 just like this but it's on saturday okay next announcement is for those of you who practice meditation for a long time, 
and looking for a way to lift up your spirituality. Now the moment has come everyone. The new course open for everyone, even for me too, first time. Basic Buddhism. Whoa, do you have to be Buddhist? Am I going to be convert? Of course not. This is open for everyone who interest to learn meditation and Buddhism all together. This is the basic practice that can go along with your meditation. It will be only available on Zoom, not Facebook. It's too much copyright issue, so forget that. Anyway, so Zoom and YouTube. All the video record will be provided on YouTube, but only to those who apply for the class, not for public. You know, for because it will be discussion class. Uh, anyone at the end, there will be discussion, so everyone can exchange their view, understand, or asking question. It will be more like interact question, more than just listen to me, blah blah blah. You know. Anyway, so basic Buddhism, uh, what we are going to do, and that will be on every Friday. Yes, this time is on US time, from six o'clock to seven thirty Friday. Well, since you are not, you know, at this time, pandemic is spread over. I'm not sure you. I don't think you're gonna go watch movie at Friday night, right? Well, at so you can come watching me on Friday night instead. All right, everyone, see you on Friday next week. If anyone interest, now open for application. And last but not least, anyone who like looking for a place, a friend to meditate, now the time come. We have inner peace for Australia for those who living in Oceania time. It will be in the morning for that time, but for the US time. Well, you can join us on at night on Saturday night. So you can join us too at 8:30 to 9:30 at night in US time. For in Asian time or Ocean time, check on the picture and the schedule will be posting regularly every week. So anyone, if you're looking for a place to join, this only only available on Zoom, so no limit for copyright Facebook, you know. Anyway, so that's one announcement. Thank you, Mr. Go. Okay, that's good. Hi, April. Yeah, you still there? Alright, that's very good. <laughs> and last but not least, now inner peace program, inner peace daily, for why everywhere, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, broadcast on Zo on YouTube or and Zoom, for anyone who looking for a, uh, a way to help you practice. And this program go along with my own level to help you practice meditation regularly, and hopefully, you enjoy and come join us if you do meditate. Don't forget to say hi or leave some comments so we know who is coming and joining us. And last but not least, next episode I just fish, finished yesterday. Forget to post it though, but I will post it sometime after this. Yes, the miracles and super natural, uh, supernatural phenomena happen in the time of our great master. This time is about the amulet. You may have heard about the Buddhist amulet. Why is it so sacred to the Buddhists, especially in Thailand? It's become like an object of you know valuable thing and rare item. Well, today we explain on that, and this time it's only on this one in the picture. What is it about that our master made? Well, find it out on our podcast. And one more. The story, the series of Buddhism's uh, knowledge, continue in blessing to well how to care for your children. If we starting a family, how can we raise them to be a good person? We all want. And expecting a lot from our child, but maybe our perspective may be quite off. We need some guidance. It could be a way to help you then do that. All right. So hopefully it will be benefit. And last but not least, the most anticipated story of all time: Vidura the Wise. Reaching episode five, episode six to nine is already made, and it will be broadcasting sometime this week. So stay tuned, everyone. I hope you all enjoy practice meditation regularly and come back again next time. If you find this program benefit and you find that it's helping you, don't forget to share to the friends and loved one in your family or friends that you like, so that way they can also enjoy the benefit too. Of course, it's free, and of course, don't have to be Buddhist. Come join us if you find like you you want to find inner peace. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I hope to see you again next week. Until then, every everyone. Oops, oh, wrong one.